Hi, I'm Kenyon Williams. I'm a percussionist with the Fargo-Moorhead Symphony, and I uh, want to introduce you to another instrument in the percussion section. These instruments are called the timpani. Actually, in, uh, they have a variety of names. In England, they're called the kettle drums, and you can see why, because they look like gigantic copper kettles, and they're made, actually, out of hammered copper. These drums are the oldest drums in the orchestra. They've actually been a part of orchestral music for many, many centuries, ever since the beginning of what we consider the modern orchestra with strings, violins, and brass. As a matter of fact, these drums were actually first used by military units who played them on the sides of horses. The timpanist would actually sit on the horse with one drum on each side of the saddle. The drums back then were quite a bit smaller, so it didn't kill the poor horse. But nevertheless, when they played, they could use these drums for marches on the sides of the horse as they marched along. Now, these drums, of course, were also used for royalty, for example, to announce the sound of the king as he came into the hall. And eventually, composers began to pick up on this and include the timpani inside early orchestral works. As a matter of fact, as I said earlier, they were the first percussion instruments to be written into the orchestra. Music by Mozart, Bach, and uh, other composers such as Haydn oftentimes use just the timpani and no other percussion at all. Now, the drums, as you saw, are traditionally played with just two drums. These drums play the most important pitches, what we call the tonic and the dominant, or the, the basic pitches of each chord. And each drum today can be tuned with a pedal mechanism. There's actually a pedal on the bottom of these drums, and when I move my foot, you can actually hear the pitch of the drum change. Now, it's very uncommon to have the timpanist play while pedaling. It does happen sometimes, but it's pretty rare. Rather, the pedal is used primarily to tune the drums before the piece even begins, so that the drums can match the sound of the rest of the orchestra. Now, as the drums began to move into the 20th century, composers stopped writing for just two drums and instead began including other drums. Today, it's very common for orchestra pieces to have four drums. Some composers even write for five, and believe it or not, there's some pieces out there even for eight, nine, or ten timpani, all played by one person. It's almost like watching an octopus play drums when you have that many drums in front of a player, but it's a lot of fun, trust me. I'll demonstrate for you just a little bit here of what it looks like to play all four timpani. And finally, it's important to note that the drums are often played with a variety of beaters or mallets that give them a lot of different sounds. These are some pretty soft, fluffy mallets. Oftentimes, timpanists will use harder mallets like these, as you can see in this case, the soft felt has been removed, which gives them a much harder sound. And these are the timpani. This program is funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts. The Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008. And by the members of Prairie Public.